to make sure it's tight enough that the saddle can't ever end up under him. Gracias. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to tell you is when you make an appointment to get your hair done, can you see if she'd be willing to cut my hair while yours is processing? Like we could go together. My old girlfriend and I, we should do that all the time. It would be like, you know, and then that way. Yeah, you're tired from all that running. <laughs> good boy good boy yeah do the other half Good boy, good boy. <laughs> Overachiever. Back. He's like, but I'm in a perfect spot right now. And you're turned that way. So it's kind of not fair. You know, like your belly button gave him the idea he was in the right spot. Good. Good boy. He is going to have to rebalance that front leg, just so you know. So if he takes one step forward, it's just to rebalance himself. Good. Even in that position, he didn't move. So he learned something the last couple times. That's okay. You wanna make a call? My kids just left. You wanna make a call? Hello, hello. It was nice seeing you. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't think I have a pocket that That's a good boy. Oh, yesterday I worked with Cody. Yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes, he can. So, head towards me on the other side of that block and see if you can get him to go sideways over that pole. Or other, over that um, block. It's okay. Yep. He's pretty well warmed up from his run. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. So now make sure you're not all up in his mouth more than you are in your seat and your intention. So you're going to open the door with this foot and close the door with that foot and ask him to go sideways. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. And then just let him walk it off. So anything you do, anything really concentrated like that, you always got to let them just walk it off. Drop their head down, let them walk it off. Because you were all up in his mouth and you were all on his body and you had intentions. So you want to make sure that you always let them get out of that energy. Kristen, do you notice anymore that he, he does flip his ears back to listen? 
He spends more time with his ears listening than he does looking around. And when he does choose to look around, he checks right back in. Yep, yep. So go ahead and start like a circling pattern. Circle that block, circle this block, circle that block, go down and start a circling pattern. And then we're going to see, since we had a hard time actually keeping him going, we're going to see if we can't get him doing the jog that we want him to do. And then what we're going to do is like, say, and say he picked up the jog that you want right now, you're going to turn him loose and let him go straight. So you're going to see if we can't get him to learn to maintain that jog once we set it. So we're going to consider these blocks, these circles as the way we're setting our cruise control. Say he jogged nicely. Now you'd let him loose and he'd go towards the rail. You know what I mean? You're going to, as soon as he gives you the, the speed you're looking for, you're going to turn him loose. So you're going to let him know that that's his reward, but he has to respond to being uh, asked to do that slower gait before he's turned loose. There you go, because I was about to yell at you for looking down at that other one. There you go. Yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and ask him for the jog and see if you can keep that mindset at the jog. Yep. So now your body will come a little bit more alive. Yep. Keep the life in your body. Good. Now if he stays at the jog, go ahead and just jog off. There you go. There you go. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, go ahead and walk. This is what we're going to do. We're going to ask for the jog in this lesson, and we're going to ask for that nice, pretty jog you just had. But when he gets hot, no matter where you're at, you could be right there, you could be at the turn, it doesn't matter. You're going to go beeline right for the, for the blocks, and you're going to do the serpentine in the blocks. So he has a choice. He could stay out there and have a nice, easy jog. Good boy. And then try to let him loose. Good. Good. Excellent. And let him walk. Good. So, so what I'm saying is, let's say this downhill piece, he gives you a hard time. You're just going to and go start doing your serpentine. Okay. okay. Whether it's at a walk or a jog, it doesn't matter. Just if he's going faster than you want, you're going to put him in there and let him think it out. As soon as he starts giving you back what you want, you're going to let him back out of there. No. <laughs> so now ask for the jog. Come alive in your body only. Good. And then leave him alone. Just let him enjoy that little jog. Leave him alone. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look, he's barely even tapping the ground. What a good boy. Now bring him over to the bo bring him over to the blocks. Just start serpentine around in the blocks. Till he gives you back that nice little jog that you were originally asking for. Yep. And then you could have let him loose there if you wanted to. 
But he ended up breaking. That's okay. So my goal is to see you set cruise control and then put your hands down. Yep, I was going to say he's going faster than I'd like. Swing those wide. Good, turn him loose. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's okay. Ask for it gently back up. Now he's going to poop. So I had some gas. False alarm. Next time. Mm -mm. Nope. He says he feels the sensation and it doesn't come usually the first try. Nope. Yep. Go ahead and ask for the jog. Come alive in your body. Then gently close your legs. He's... He's, now he's going to poop. He's like, I just wasn't done cooking it before. <laughs> so bring him over to the, bo the blocks. Even if he seems like he's recovered, we're going to just bring him over and say, hey, but I asked for you to go slower. Now this is what we're going to do. Nope, bring him over the blocks. So I would have brought him over to the blocks when he was going where you heard. If you feel yourself having to kind of hang on him, bring him over to the blocks. We're trying to give him the best deal. Yep, perfect. Yep. Good. There. Try not to hang on him. Good. Yep. I would have done that then, too. Nope, bring him in the blocks. If he recovers, you can trot him straight through. Good, good. That's, I would have done that too. Good. Good. So you're just going to use these as your brakes for right now. Good. There you go. And I saw you try to get out of his mouth. Good. Yep. Breaks. Good. Good. There you go. Good. That happened because you leaned forward. There. Try to get out of his mouth. Good, leave him alone. And if you want to, yep, circle it. Yep, that's exactly what I would have done. Yes, you want him. You want him to be jogging the speed you want and then let him out of it. 
If he maintains the speed you want, then you're going to keep jogging. If he goes faster than you want, you're going to take him back in there until he's going the speed you want, and then you're going to bring him back out. Wow, he just told you he's finally going to give you the potential of trotting down that slow. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> he knows, yeah, he knows that's the brakes. So... Like, and let's just say he picked up the jog before you even reached the blocks, then go through them. Good, good. And then just, just let him take you for that ride. The more relaxed you get right now, the more he's going to know he did the right thing. That's the second time he said, I have the potential to go down this little hill nicely. Lower your hands if you can. There. 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 Yep. It's okay. It's okay, bud. You almost got it. Come on. So now you're going to just want to sit and give a little bit more of a, an energetic drive but you know once he gets to about the mounting block that changes so his energy has been really good to the mounting block that we want to encourage it to keep going but we're going to have to actually get to the slow down again after the mounting block so pay attention to his patterns and you can help him he's going to poop again no, he's, he's really gassy good good it's okay. Good. Yes. Good. 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 Now play with your brakes a little bit down the hill. It's okay. So that's the, that's the only spot you still have to fix, but you got the other part good now. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, he so now you've got it for one full stride past the mounting block. So your goal, if you're setting goals for yourself, is to get that jog back up there obviously, cuz that's faster than you like. Good. But your goal now is to get two strides past the mounting block. Good. 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 So now you still have to get, that's only one stride past the mounting block, like one whole body past the mounting block. So you want to get two. That's going to be your goal. If you can, if you like, you could set your major goal. Your major goal could be, I want to be able to jog him all the way to the, to the fence. But to, you know, bite off all the good pieces. So his good pieces to route there, and then he picks it up again. Which is funny because that's not even more downhill anymore. It's when it starts to plane off. There you go. Let him walk. Let him walk. Sit. Stop riding. Walk. Let him stand there for a second. So 
So next time we're going to let him stand there a little bit longer because um, we want him to, to want that. He, we want him because he like, he'd rather stand than go, right? So we want him to believe that it's almost a reward. So that way when he feels that left rein come up, he might be like, ooh, okay, I'm supposed to slow down. I might get to stop. Not yet. Let him walk a little bit. Let him air up a little bit. He's kind of puffing. And he's got it. If you let him soak on that a little bit, he'll... He's like, get off. <laughs> Ritz takes me back to the mounting block sometimes. <laughs> Ritz... Carefully doesn't try that again. He's got a little bit of that on his mind again. He's got a little bit of that on his mind again. So I was just telling you not to let him do it again. Because <laughs> he's got it on his mind still again. Yeah. So you can help him by doing just a circle right there. Get him bending the other way. Yeah, just do a circle. Now leave him alone. And then just watch his neck. If his nose starts to stay steadily pointed towards the house, good. Go ahead and circle him. Good. And then turn them loose again. And then just ride straight. There. Now you just changed his mind. He's got a little bit back in his head there. So... I'd like to finish trying to get that jog in that little spot there before we change directions. But, I'm, you know, he can definitely walk the other way, but we, I don't want to jog him the other way yet. And don't pick up the jog until you pass your bending poles. Until you pass your bending poles. So that way he, he doesn't have a whole lot of time to get himself riled up. Well, no, I mean, he's, he, he does the jog nice right here now. But I, don't, I want him to not think he's got a destination. I want him to think he's just starting. Yep, so now ask for the jog. Just come alive in your body. Good. That's the best jog he did in that spot. Leave him alone when you can. Yep. Yep, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. It's a... Still, it's way better than it's been. Try to leave him alone when you can. Try to leave him alone when you can. Yep. So now try to do your reins more like a check-in instead of a steady thing. There you go.
Good. Good. That's the best he's done that turn. So kind of check in and then let him go. Check in and let him go instead of holding him. There you go. There. There. There's the horse we're looking for. Check in. Let him go. Good. Check in. Circle. Circle tight. Circle tight. Because that was not good and we want him to not think that that's what we want. And then after you get on the rail, let him go again. Yes. Check in. There. Yep, let him go. Circle. Yep, circle. It was still too fast at the end there. Good, good. Let him walk. That circle is beautiful. And we want to reward what he ended on there. And he needed he needs to air up a little bit too. He's a little winded. Good boy. Yeah, he got a little fast that last time. But he's definitely starting to understand the idea. Okay, see if you can ask for the jog right there. Good. Good. Go ahead and let him walk again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to go up into your jog from the walk and then right back down to the walk. Go ahead and jog. Go ahead and walk. This one's going to be hard. Go ahead and jog. Go ahead and walk. Good. Go ahead and jog. Walk. Grandpa walk. Jog. Grandpa walk. Ho. Let him catch his breath for a second. So it's kind of like a game of red light, green light. Good, yeah, he's doing very good. Well, yeah, and the you can't get your your departures into the jog any better without being a little bit more crisp yourself and then then that makes it harder for him so for right now it's okay that it's a couple walking strides before yep but the only other way you would make that different is if you were a little more uh active but then he'd pick up a faster we want him to we want him to ease into the jog we'll get him to where he understands your body language because it's just bringing your life up Okay, go ahead and walk off. Go ahead and jog. Go 
Go ahead and walk. Yeah. See, this also encourages the, the anticipation. Okay, walk towards me and then go back out to the rail. And then go back out to the rail. When you hit the rail, jog. <laughs> Ho, back up. Ho. Oh. Grandpa walk out of that. There you go. So he's kind of telling you that your seat is not even. Because his body's responding to where you're seat, so you're not sitting. You're sitting harder on like one pocket than the other. So his body's telling you what your body's doing. So let's try to stay as centered. Good. There you go. There you go. Now he's straight. Good. Go ahead and jog. Ho. Grandpa walk out. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and jog. There. Oh, beautiful walk. Good, and just relax so he knows you're done riding. So until just then, I was I didn't notice, but I'm glad I I'm glad you did that so I could notice. Your hands are way quieter than they used to be until you just had that moment. And the reason I I know there's a big difference is because that's the old you that just came out. Yeah. You know, like you almost brought the range to your chin. <laughs> but until then you hadn't done it so you guys are getting much better I mean you are you are riding kind of up but you're not riding you used to ride like this so now I mean all you have to do is get yourself concentrated on kind of almost like I think we did it one day where you're resting your hands yep and then just see if you can when you turn them loose you know see if you can do it where you can Keep your hands there and squeeze him in for your check-in. And then... That's what I've been trying to do, just squeeze. Yep, yep, try to check in. And then if he does respond, then try to let go. Okay. Without, you know, without having a whole lot of body to do. Which way? Let's go the other way now. Okay. If he gets that idea again, keep an eye on his neck. If he bends... To the right, slightly behind the pole, he's got the naughty idea of changing direction on you. Like there. Square up your shoulder, you drop that left shoulder down. There you go. He's thinking about it a little bit. There you go. Good.
just to keep him entertained while he's walking a little bit, go ahead and do the, the blocks. Just let him air up a little bit and then we'll... But do... Yeah, just do the blocks so that he can just kind of do something more mental than walking along the rail. Go ahead and circle that one. Wake him up a little bit. Good boy. Okay, go back out onto the rail. He's being very good today. It would have sucked if you lost that ride. So remember this day. You had a frustrated catch. You weren't sure if you were in the right mood to ride. And you wanted to give it a try. Can you wash that off? And you did. And you would have missed out on this good ride if you didn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I didn't introduce the blocks until the end of last time. Good oh boy. Okay. Carefully ask for the jog. And I say carefully because he'll, he'll throw his head up and pick it up faster than you want. So just make it about your body. Yep. Good. 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 There it is. There it is. That is it. It's okay. Bring him back to the blocks. Till he comes out of that. Because you had it. I don't know what happened. He, he got something on his mind out there. Yep, careful up the hill because he's going to throw his head up and get faster than you want. Do the blocks. As soon as he gives you the speed you want, just go back out to the nearest rail. He's decided he's cooked a little bit more. It's been very gassy, but. He's acting like he might have cooked himself another one. Go no. Changed his mind, but it might be there. He's been really gassy, so he might have another one in a minute. But go ahead and ask him to keep going, and then we'll... If he asks again, maybe he'll be ready. So... Always be careful at your weak spots. So like you know that that little stretch right there is a weak spot. So you always want to play a little bit less on the gas to see what you can get there. There's your horse. That time he had more of an indication he wanted to pee, but let's... Yeah, he's not trying, though. Sometimes they learn that that gets an opportunity to stop, too. Mm -mm. No. Yep. Take off there. Yep. It was the second or th there you go. There you go. There's your horse. Ride that. Okay, it's okay. Now nah, he's developing a little bit of a pattern.
same pattern. He's got the same. <sighs> now he's got an itch. <laughs> It's like, yep, go in the blocks. Go out to the rail. Good. <laughs> he developed a pattern. Rich does that sometimes. Yeah. Rich will say, you know what? I think I'm going to stop. There you go. There's your horse. There's your horse. So the faster you check in on that, as soon as he took that little goosey stride, that's when you want to check in. So you can tell him right then that that's not what we're doing. Good. Notice how you were able to interrupt that little spot there by nosing to it. But you're still going to have this one. Oh, now he's decided he really does have to go. No. <laughs> nope. Yeah, he, he actually lifted his tail that time, but... Yeah. He does have oh, he's definitely gassy. He was tooting for a while. He's just getting away with saying no. Oh, my legs are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy.